Hey folks, uh, this lesson is adjusting quotients. Uh, so sometimes our answers are too, our, our estimates are too big or too small. So here we're going to uh, learn how to adjust the quotient if our estimates are too high or too big or too small. Okay, so sometimes when we estimate, it's often too big or too small. So when we do estimate to decide where to place the first digit, we can also try to use that first digit of our estimate to find the first digit in our quotient. And you're thinking, oh, what does that mean? Well, here's a couple of examples that, that helps explain this, you guys. We'll do these one at a time. Let's do this one first, okay? So 3,387 divided by 47, okay? We always estimate, you guys, 47 rounds to 50. And a nice number that goes with this 5 is 30. Okay, so 3,000 divided by 50 is 60. Remember, multiplication is the opposite of division. So if we did 50 times 60, 5 times 6 is, is 30. And then carry these two zeros gives us 3,000. Okay, so we know it's 60 right there. So let's try 6 tens because 60 equals 6 tens. If an estimate is too low, then the difference will be greater than the divisor. Okay, so here we go. Six tens. Notice we put the six over the ten spot because it's six tens. Okay, over here I did 47 times six. We get 282. And look at this difference right here. It's 52. This difference is greater than the divisor. So that means our estimate was too low. So since the estimate's too low, we're going to adjust it by increasing the number in the quotient. So let's increase this to 7, okay? So if we increase that to 7, uh, 47 times 7 is 329. And when we subtract 338 minus 329, we get 9. 9's not greater than 47, so we're good here. We can keep going here. So let's slide down that 7 right here. And then 47 times 2 is 94. And then we get a difference of 3, so it's uh, 72 remainder 3 on that. Okay, so we had to adjust it by going up because uh, our, our estimate was too small. All right, let's try uh, 455 divided by 66. Okay, we're going to round this to 70 and round this to uh, 490 because those are nice friendly numbers. So 49 divided by 7 is 7. So this is 7 ones, so we're going to put uh, 7 in the ones spot right there. So try 7 ones. All right, and if the estimate is too high, then the product of the first digit will be uh, too large and can't be subtracted. Okay, so this is what this means right here. So if we multiply 66 times 7, uh, we get 462. Okay, and then 455, we can't take away 462 because this number is bigger right here, which just means this number is too big. So we just estimated it a little bit too big. So when it's too high, adjust it by decreasing. Okay, so we'll go down to 6, you guys. 66 times 6 is 396. Okay, 396, uh, when we subtract 455 minus 396, we get 59, okay? And then, uh, so uh, it's 6 remainder 59 on that answer, okay? So here, when we uh, got no a number that was too big, we can't subtract. And so the other one, where we got the subtraction, the difference was bigger than the divisor that told us that we had to increase it here we had to decrease the seven to six right there okay let's try this you guys a group of students have six thousand one hundred twenty seven pennies if each student gets seventy five pennies each how many students will share these pennies okay so we're going to divide uh, six thousand one hundred twenty seven divided by seventy five okay let's always estimate you guys now i could have rounded this to eighty if i wanted to you guys and if i had rounded this to eighty i would have rounded this to 6,400 because um, 64 would be compatible with, with 8. But since we rounded it to 70, let's do this at 63 because se uh, 7 times 9 is 63. Okay, these zeros cancel each other out. So I got this other zero right here. So this is 90 or 9 tens. Okay, so uh, we're going to go ahead and try using the estimate of 9 tens. Notice we place the 9 over the 10 spot right here. Okay, so 75 times 9. Let's see what happens here. We get 675. Now look, 612 minus 675. We can't do that. It's too big. This number is bigger than this one. So we have to back off a little bit and try 8. Okay. So the estimate is, is too high. So uh, adjust the, the number in the quotient if needed. So I, I brought it down to 8. So 75 times 8 is right there, 600. Okay, we can subtract those. So we get 12. We'll slide that 7 down. Okay, and then... All right, so there it is right there. So now, uh, estimate the next digit in the quotient. So we're going to divide the ones here, okay? So 75 
uh, if we rounded that to 70 again and then rounded uh, 127 to 140, we get 2. So let's try 2. Okay. Now again, if I had rounded that to 80, I would have rounded uh, this one to 160 or 80. Okay. So it just depends on how you're rounding, but at least you get a general idea where, where you're going to be placing numbers. Okay. So there's 75 times 2. Well, look, if we did, and we get 150, 127 minus 150, we can't do that. So we're going to have to adjust it and try 1, not 2 right here. Okay. So um, the estimate is uh, too high again. So we'll adjust the number. Uh, we'll go down to 1 times. So 75 times 1. This should be safe right there. And then uh, 127 minus 75 gets us 52 right there. All right, let's answer the question, you guys. So the question's asking, how many students will each have 75 pennies? Okay, well, 81 kids are going to get 75 pennies. This is the remainder right here. So there's going to be 81 kids, uh, students who will each have 75 pennies. What does that remainder of 52 mean? Well, that just means there's 52 pennies left over. So I don't know, maybe the bus driver gets it or something. I don't know. Just depends. So, but at least uh, 81 kids get the 75 pennies. All right, so try this. So, uh, when the difference is equal to or greater than the divisor, then our estimate is too low. So, let's divide 336 divided by 48. Okay, there's our compatible number. So, 48 is 50, and then we'll do 300 because of the 30 again. And then 5 goes into this 30 uh, six times, and these zeros cancel each other. So the answer is 6. This is 6, 1. So we're going to divide it in the 1's spot right here. Notice uh, the 6 is in the 1 spot. Okay, so we'll multiply 48 times 6. Okay, 48 times 6 gets us 288. All right, so when we subtract, you guys, we get 48. Okay, I did the subtraction over here. So 48. Now, here it equals right here. So when uh, this difference right here of this red 48 equals our blue divisor 48, then our estimate's too low. We can get another group of 48s in here. So we'll increase that 6 to a 7 right there. Okay. So uh, let's adjust uh, the estimated digit uh, in the quotient if needed. So instead of doing this 6, because I can get another group right here, we're going to try 7. Okay, so here we go. We'll try 7. Well, that's our old way. That We kind of ran into a jam there. So here it is by 7. There's 48 times 7. Hey, it's 336 exactly. So we get a remainder of 0. So our answer on this would have been just plain old 7. All right, you guys, take care.